In this short video, we're going to show you how to use the dimension tool, which enables you to add dimensions to your drawing. Now it's worth noting that the level of dimensioning in the software is not intended to make it a full drafting program, but more of a tool that we can add value to the vectors to give you a quick overview of the sizes before cutting on a CNC. So we're going to demonstrate the dimensions tool using this file that we've got here. To access the Dimensions tool, go over to your Design tab and under Create Vectors, you want to click on this button here that allows you to open up the Dimensions tool. Okay, so in the form, we've got a variety of dimension types. Underneath, we have the ability to edit and customize how we want those dimensions to be shown. So we can choose the fonts from our font list, we can choose the text height, how many decimal places the measurement is displayed, the offset, which we'll come to in a second, and the ability for you to use custom text should you need to. And then at the bottom here, you've got the ability to place your dimensions on a specific layer. Now, by default, uh, your dimensions will be placed on a dimensions layer as that's automatically ticked and it goes onto a layer called dimensions. Of course, you are able to edit this by simply going in, changing the name. If you don't want your dimensions on a particular layer, then you simply just uncheck that. Now, for this example, we are going to leave this uh, set to the default whereby our dimensions will be placed on the dimensions layer. It's very handy to have it go to this layer as you can switch it on and off easily from your layers bar. So let's take a look at the length dimension. So the length dimension, we can use this to dimension a straight line length in any orientation between two points. For example, I want to measure the length between the center of this circle here and the center of this circle over here. So to do that, I simply click on the length dimension option and then I come over into my 2D view and then I need to specify where I want my first point of measurement to go. In which case I want that to go in the center of this circle here. So I'm going to click using the left mouse button and you'll see that I am now presented with a pink dash line that's anchored at the point at which I clicked in the center of that circle. So now I need to click into a position where I want my second point to be. So in this case, I want that to go in the center of this circle here. Now you may notice that the software uh, is able to snap to points or guides in which the software thinks I might find useful. And that's because I've got the smart snapping options switched on. And so that's why I'm able to see various lines uh, and guides throughout my job, which is very useful in case I did want to snap to points that we don't actually see as part of our drawing. In which case I want to snap to this center of this circle here. So I'm going to left click in the center there. Now you'll see that I'm presented with a line and I've got a box that runs between that line and it moves as I move my cursor. I'm just going to zoom out a little just so we can see that a little bit better. And now I need to just click my next point is where I'm going to position that box and this box is going to display my measurement. So I like where it is here so I'm just going to click and you can see that it's created that. So it's created a length dimension here. We can see the arrow going between the two points at which we selected. We displayed the actual dimension here and this is all pulled up from this section here. So it's in the Times New Roman font. The text height is at 0.2. It's showing at four decimal places. And then the offset here, that's where we're setting that from compared to our original point. So we have no offset here. That's why the lines are going right to the point at which we clicked. Now, if we wanted to edit this, we can hold down shift and then we can select that dimension again. And if we wanted to, we could make edits to the font, for example, the height. In this case, I just want to make edits to the decimal places. So I can just use those arrows to do that, or I could type that in. And we can also look at increasing the offset here. So we could make that 0.5 and you'll see that's offset that from the original start point that we clicked there. Or we could just make that a little bit closer, perhaps 2.25. That's just so it doesn't get in the way of your vectors if you felt that they were. Okay, so that's pretty much um, that. how we do that. 
Okay, so we can simply go on and create our next dimension. So now let's take a look at the vertical dimension. So we're going to click to accept that. Now we're in vertical dimension mode. So again, like before, we need to specify our first point, which I'm going to click on this corner here. I'm going to specify this point here, and you'll see it will create a vertical dimension for me. And then I can click and it will bring up the dimension there. Then we also have horizontal dimension. So for example, if I wanted to measure uh, the horizontal dimension from this point here and the edge of our circle here, I could simply just click there and then click to accept that also. Just press F just to fit that to our screen. Then we've got the angle dimension. And this allows for any angle to be measured. So first you must pick the center of an angle that you wish to measure. So typically that's like a corner point. And then the next two points clicked will set the kind of uh, extents of the sweep that we're measuring. So in this example, I wanna measure the angle from this point here. So I'm gonna click in place and I'm just going to click for my second point. And then I'm just gonna line that up in the X axis there like so, and you can see I'm displayed uh, the angle between those two points. Or if I hover over to the right, you can see I'm actually displayed there the reverse of that or the, the, the rest of the circular angle there. In which case I wanna measure this angle here. So I'm going to click like so, and then I'll just click my box to go over here. And it would say that that's 38 degrees. Next, we've got the arc dimensions. Okay, so you can select an arc like so, and it will display what the dimension is there. So it's telling us that is 1.75 radius. Alternatively, if you wanted to show the diameter, click on the show diameter option. And again, you could come over here and it will display the diameter version instead. Now you can also have the ability to use custom text. So Let's just go on a, let's just check the custom text option. And then here we could say uh, we wanted to display the word diameter, for example. And then over here, we could click on that, click here, and then it would put the diameter in place. So that's just useful if you want to name things within your job. And that's pretty much the dimensions tool. So we'll close out and you'll see in our layers bar at the top here, if we undraw the dimensions layer, it will just temporarily hide all of those dimensions, but you can always access them by switching the layer back on. Thank you for watching.